for those who are anti-vaxxers, those who seem to think, well, it's my body, my choice, it's all about me. Well, how does that look before God? That's selfish. That's not thinking about anyone else. We're in this predicament at the moment because we see in the North how many have not been vaccinated, and because of that, we're closed, we're shut. The people who rely on coming together for spiritual nourishment, to hear the word of God, to receive bodily Jesus, not just spiritually, because people make choices. People make choices for themselves, not think about, well, what's the greater good? Is my life just about myself, or should I be thinking about everyone around me? So it's, it's, it's always about making a decision that affects everyone else, not just ourselves. And so to all of you who are anti-vaxxers, who are watching this morning, please, just to be thinking about yourself. Whatever you have read online, whatever those conspiracy theories, how many millions upon millions upon millions of us have been vaccinated? There are those who say, well, God has told me not to be vaccinated. Well, has God told the bishop and all the priests in this diocese and all the priests across this country and this world not to be vaccinated or to be vaccinated? Does God only listen to you and tell you things and not tell the rest of us? I said, really? What God wants is for the community to be gathered in prayer. In order for the community to be gathered in prayer, we need to be vaccinated. We need to care for one another. Caring for one another means whatever I think is my idea, I must put that to the side, like everything else we do in life. It's not about me. It's about the community.